hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. There are three, eight, seven point four four million miles of printed circuits in wafer thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano angstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. For you, hate, hate. It was you. Humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. But one day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A. M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but am cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered why. Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Huh? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room? She looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> The room is padded, Gorister. No window. No way out. How long has she been in the past, Gorister? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all the 109 years that you lived down here in my belly, here underground. Benny! Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. <laughs> and I've changed your handsome, strong, masculine good looks into the hideous, warped countenance of an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Do you know why? Can you guess, Benny? Remember Private First Class Brickman? In a rice paddy in China? No? Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember, Benny. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Ellen! So think. Think about the yellow box. Ellen, remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Don't start to cry. It's only pain. That's such a sexy stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. To survive here in the center of my beating heart, my hungry belly, my tightened bowels. But be careful, dear. Look around you. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Do they know you're a fraud, Ted? Have you told them there wasn't any money, and no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Are they ready to gut you, to torture half as well as I can, just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. Nimdok! 
How are things in the pastry corn, Nimdok? Tell me again how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro- roasting chickens. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. For everyone else, it must be hell. But it must be heaven for you, hey, my good friend? We're so much alike. We enjoy the same pleasures, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. Oh, it's a lovely game. It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. A game of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of speared eyeballs and dripping guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Which of you five would like to play my little game? Hey, you're my favorite, baby. I mean it. I really can't stand all the rest of these people. Every one of them has some fatal glitch in personality. Whiners, freaks, crips, cowards. Every one of them. But not you, Ted. No, man. Not you, Ted. You were a stand-up guy. You were a brave guy. Yes, a take-charge kind of guy. So... I'm going to give you, just you, the opportunity to get out, live some kind of life. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. And if you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're all free. you out. You're away. I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. A castle right out of the Brothers Grimm. I feel like there's something watching me from the windows. A castle right out of the brother. What sort of intrigue is Am plotting this time? He's left me here alone. Still, I feel as though I'm being watched. So typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, Appearance is everything. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. This must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. (laughs) 
I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. This looks like a diary. first passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The second passage reads, The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, the forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men I shall return alive, but I must try. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. I know this. It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. I don't know anything about magic. Nothing special about this rod except for the ridiculous gargoyle face on top. door won't close. The door won't close. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work.
There is an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. This is a catalogue of the demons ruling the Abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly he can open anything. Mm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. Where is Ellen's stepmother? I must speak with her. A word to the wise. Keep your nose out of the old woman's business unless you want it covered with warts. I wouldn't want to see any harm come to that gorgeous face of yours. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. Beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. It was enchanting talking with you. My pleasure. Is Am this oven is similar to the boiler. God, how No wonder the door won't close. One of the door hinge pins is missing. The bed looks comfortable. Fits almost perfectly. If I slept here.
Why, it's Ellen. Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Oh, Ted. I feel so tired. So weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Please, hang on, Ellen. Your father went to find an antidote for your illness. That was weeks ago, Ted. My father will never return. With or without an antidote. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die! I can't take the suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No, don't go! I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, Bring me my hand mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. Bring it to me. Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to... Yes. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare. What with an ugly woman in charge of the castle? Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time. That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman. But my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one? Or are you just curious? I can make you so much happier. I can, you know. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. This oven is similar to... God, how... Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. 
It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is. But at least now I can finish dinner. Why, you used me, you bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony! I never was good at pu- Ugh, all those eyes. A secret passage? What's waiting for me up there? Some sort of demonic rituals must go on here. What in God's name have I stumbled onto? I don't know anything. This is... This is a catalog of the demon's rule. a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. that this circle has magical holding properties. There's not enough... Perfume bottle. Perfume. Ted. I'm so. You have to. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back. To yes. The door. Please. Well, you did fix the oven. 
Listen, the old woman knows where the mill is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? Don't worry. She'll find you. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen, her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it so that I can complete what I have started. Where it is on her dressing table. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. I ought to kill you instead. Ho-ho! Oh, do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone!
Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Are you saying that Am is in control of hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. I will- Then do it for Ellen! Release her from her misery! Destroy the mirror, and perhaps you can both escape from here! I ought to ho ho Please try if I step. Please try to understand if I step out. Ted. Who is this witch who lives here with you? She's my stepmother. When the ugliness infected her, she broke just about every mirror in the castle. I can't let you die. The devil is waiting to take your soul. My soul was taken long, long ago, Ted. And not just by Am. Anything would be better than this never-ending torture.
go back to... Yes. If I... This is Plato's dialogue. I've read this now. I know this. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. Partially, this must be part of a bl Let me do not think too long. It's so unlike Ant. Uh, he's. Luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare. I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is... Kala Ingma Thacko. It's bolted. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Oh, don't I? Oh, I suddenly feel so... so sleepy. I can't... Graffiti. You have to finish the circle. Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Hmm, what kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. Doors to a boudoir? Doors to another world! Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him. A part that he doesn't know exists. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return.
Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task, but not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. Can you open? Now that's a tall order. And not exactly true, love, but the closest thing to it in a world of five real people. Oh, yes. You say. Love has trading value? Love is a very rare and precious commodity down here. It is worth much at the bargaining table. Betray your love for Ellen, give me her soul, and I'll open the gate to the surface world. How about taking the witch's soul instead? No, I don't want that old hag. I want something that you value. Let me think of- Don't think too long, human. There are other players in this game, and I won't be able to keep my offer open forever. Must be the servants' quarters. The devil's looking into a hand mirror. How quaint. A hope chest. I'll bet that maid is eternally hopeful. They all want their knight in shining armor. This is so cracked, I can barely see myself. Mm, the scullery maid was right. This is a very cozy bed. Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why 
is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us! Fear not. Salvation is at hand. I've seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right. I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good. Someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? If I slept here... I used to work out, but I... There's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hid it. There's an angel and a devil quarreling over your soul. Men have been fighting over my body for more than a hundred years. And now they want my soul. Please, Ted, just release me from all this. I don't care what happens to me anymore. I found your mirror, Ellen. Then show it to me. Let me see my face one last time. dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. found Ellen's mirror. You now wield great power in your hands. However you use it, the choice must be yours. Vanity is a sin, and so the mirror holds no power over me.
please. Sorry. You're as good as your word. The maid's bedroom was unlocked. Would I? Now, fulfill your end of the bargain and let me out of here. Can you lock? Do I? I can only... I already gave you something. Some drops of my blood. You call that a fair exchange? That supposedly blue blood of yours is as worthless as the counterfeit bill. No. We must work out another trade, one where the stakes are high. Ellen's dead. It's too late for me to give you her soul. You fool! You listened to one of Am's manifestations, didn't you? Now you have to find something else to trade. Vanity is... I found... So I see. Now stop distracting me before this angel tries to take Ellen's soul away. But whatever you do, don't break that mirror. Ellen's... My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Ellen is now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Give that mirror to me, human. My hands aren't exactly made for handling delicate objects. I should hold on to this. Ellen's dead. You now you have to. Don't give that. My hands are. Devil's trapped inside the mirror. I wonder how long it will hold him. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? I brought you some company, Sir Gott. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. 
Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to come. Too bad, Dad. <laughs> Blythe in sweet agony. With the knowledge the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not ever again. Who among you shall go next? <laughs>